Hello, this is a very quick look at the August DVB500. This is both an Android box and a TV tuner, so I've never tested anything like this before. It comes with everything you need to get started, but unlike other Android boxes, you can see it's got an aerial in and out. So you still have the standard HDMI out, you still got Ethernet cable, it does have Wi-Fi and there's no external antenna. There's a generous three USB ports around the side. It comes with a remote and also comes with the batteries. The remote's okay, it's not brilliant, it's not very good for the TV section or the Android section. You also get the cables required to hook this up to your TV, as well as the power brick. Once set up, you're presented with a nice interface, nice big buttons, and the remote control works okay for uh, surfing around on this particular interface. You get quite a few apps pre-installed, including Kodi. Note it's version 14 rather than 16, which is the latest version at the time of review. That runs really well, runs fine. Netflix also ran fine. The menus loaded up well. It streamed fine. Uh, if you've not seen it, I definitely recommend getting into Jessica Jones' fantastic series. So that's Netflix ticked off. YouTube though proved to be a bit of a bit of an interesting one. It says a new version available, install now. When you go to install it, however, it pops up with a message to say that YouTube isn't compatible with this device. YouTube does work though, so you can go back. It's just interesting that it won't now get any updates. So here we go, just this is one of my videos, just hit play. And there was no problems playing YouTube videos at all. It was a pleasant surprise to find that the Google Play Store actually worked fine. Uh, I've had a number of boxes where you actually can't play movies back from Google Play, but this box uh, fired them up no problem. It was streaming very well. So as a little streaming box, it actually works really, really well. Good, good all around media player. You can, of course, use other aspects of Android, such as games. Although I did find games, gameplay was a bit jerky. I actually couldn't get the remote to work at first, which is why I got off to a standing start. And while this is playable, this isn't the slickest I've seen this run, so not the strongest box if you want to play Android games. This differs from all other Android boxes I've tried, is the inclusion of a TV tuner, brings up Freeview, Full HD, and the pitch quality was very good. Sound quality was fine, although I did find I had to adjust the lip syncing. I'm not quite sure what was going on when it, when it arrived, it wasn't quite in sync. You can quickly get to different TV channels and you can record TV onto a USB stick. However, I did find the interface here really needs a lot of work. It was very difficult to figure out how to record. The remote isn't that helpful. There's no kind of big record button that you might find on something like a Virgin remote control. You do have a number of options to check out and these are separate from the main Android console. So the Android console has its own options and this is an app which then gives you access to an EPG. It's an okay EPG, but again, there didn't seem to be a way of setting up things like a series link. Uh, you do have access not only to TV, but also to the radio, and you do have a huge range of TV from Freeview. You can go forwards in time to check out uh, what's going on, but there's no kind of backwards in time linking in with other apps. So here's where you can set up the recording. You can see repeat once or daily. There doesn't seem to be a kind of series link option. And so it feels a little bit old school in terms of what you can do with this. So mixing a smart TV tuner box with an Android box is a really good, simple idea. It makes a lot of sense. It's unfortunate that it's let down by the menu interface. However, the inclusion of three USB ports is a real bonus. And overall, as a streaming box, it works well for things like Netflix and the Google Play Store. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.